Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and happy holidays. Okay, Christmas is over. It like flew by like that. I just got back from Sweden. Um, I went out there to spend time with my family because I am from Sweden. And now we are one day away from New Year's Eve tomorrow. So with that being said, I wanted to do like a festive uh, New Year's Eve look, sparkle, shine, you know, your typical fun, glitzy New Year's Eve look. Um, and with it, I wanted to show you guys how to do it with affordable products. I don't wanna say just drugstore because some of these are not drugstore, but they are extremely affordable. So if you would like to see how I'm going to create this fun, affordable New Year's Eve look, go ahead and keep on watching. The first thing I'm gonna do is start out with my brows. I am gonna go ahead in with these brow duos from BH Cosmetics. Okay, these are powder form. This is in the shade Ebony and Ash Brown. Perfect for anything affordable. I love the holographicness of it. This is what you have going on. If you guys wanted to shop BH Cosmetics, you don't have to use my promo code, but I do have one. So if you wanna save money, I have it down in the description what my promo code is. Save yourself some money. On top of it being affordable, it could be even more affordable with that, but you are, by all means, do not have to use it. I just have it for you guys. That way you can get the most money off of your products. For my dip brow today, I am gonna be going in with my Kai Brow from Kylie Cosmetics. Um, this is what it looks like. And this is in shade medium brown. Um, as you can see, it, it is one of my faves. I absolutely love this product. Kylie Cosmetics in general is very affordable. Uh, so yeah, that's my go-to. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with these brows. So going in with my angled brush, I always start down at the bottom and I underline my brows. I like a bolder brow and that is why I do go in with dip brow first. If you're someone who already has a bunch of hair and you also like it more natural, then I suggest going in with a powder or a pencil. But I like a bold brow. It just makes the world a difference for me. So I do have microbladed brows by my girl Megan at Trusted Tattoo and Corona. Um, so my actual hair color, everything, and my lashes and my brows, everything's blonde. So it would look like I had no brows and I just got these done like a couple of months ago. I'm in love with them. So you can see I did the individual hairs so that they look like real hair. Um, but when I do my makeup, I like to have it really nice and bold. Having my brows microbladed has literally made my life so much easier because I just follow the line and fill them in and all that. But prior to that, I would have to really make sure that, you know, I, I sculpt them, I shape them and everything. This just cuts down time for me. I'm obsessed. Okay, so this is just with dip brow. Now I'm gonna go in and set my brows with a brow powder, which will be the brow duo from BH Cosmetics. I am going to use the ash brown one right here. Um, I like my uh, brows to be a little bit lighter than my hair color. Also, I like them to be ashy versus warm. I just feel like when they're warm, it kind of looks like either I have a sunburn or like I'm a redhead. Um, so I like to keep it more on the ashier side. This shade, which is the lighter one, um, first, just so that I don't have the darker product on the brush, I'm gonna go to the inner corner of my brow. How's everybody's holidays? Um, so for me, just so that you get to know me a little bit more, I, I am trying to get better at speaking more about what I've got going on in my life because people have asked me to, um, I guess, keep them posted on everything. So for the holidays, for Christmas, I flew back home to Sweden. I'm from Gothenburg, Sweden. And um, I got to visit with my family. The last time that I was home was about five, six years ago. So it's been a little bit of a minute. I do speak to them all the time um, via Facebook Messenger video, but um, it has been a true minute since I've actually been home. It was 
amazing. I loved being back there. I got to eat all my favorite foods, and your girl go on a diet tomorrow. Well, sorry, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. On the first, I am going back on like a healthy eating diet because when I was home, I was indulging in all my favorite foods and sweets that I do not get while I'm out here. So, you know, it's the holidays, whatever. But I got to see everyone. I We did family photos, which is really funny because when I posted them, everyone's like, are you guys the extended Cullen family? Because we live in the woods and we were wearing all black and everyone in my family is blonde. I was the only one who had dark hair in the photo because I colored it dark, but um, they came out really nice and it's very much, very, very much that twilight mood. So, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so now that I have my powder down onto my brows, I am going to carve it out with concealer. I have never used this concealer before. It's actually mm, not even open. So like I said, it is an affordable um, cosmetics video. So I am going to be using L'Oreal products. This is the L'Oreal Infallible, Infallible? L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick. So I got two shades. Um, they didn't have ones for me to swatch a tester. So I just kind of like guess based off of the look if it's going to be my color. So let's cross our fingers. That is actually my color. I got one that's darker and I got one that is as true to my skin tone as possible from what I can see. And then I got the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, um, also in about like two shades lighter than the foundation stick. Um, again, I'm not sure, but based off of just looking at it, I'm hoping that this is my color. <laughs> um, so I'm going to open these up. They're really affordable. They are $12.99 at any drugstore. Um, from, I got these ones from CVS. I have a CVS right downstairs for me, so I was like, let me go you know, grab them. Um, so this is what they look like. I am a cream foundation girl all day or a kind of like liquid cream formula. So not liquidy, but it's like a kind of like a mix. Like the Too Faced multi-use concealers, they're not fully cream, but they're not fully liquid. They're kind of this in-between hybrid. Um, so yeah, that's the closest that I'll get to like a liquid liquid foundation. I'll for sure try one later, but Yes, so this is what the foundation sticks look like. I feel like this one like looks closest to my skin tone and this one is definitely like a contour shade but if I wanted, if this is too light, then I can definitely warm it up with this one. And then the concealer definitely is lighter. So let's pray that this works. So that will be the foundation and the concealer that I will be using. Um, the one thing that is not like super, super affordable, but I, I feel like it's a good price um, that I'll be using is my Velvet 59 24 Karat Chocolate Dream Oil. I just don't do makeup without it. It is my holy grail. It is my staple. If you guys have never used this, definitely, I highly recommend that you go and get this. I believe the bottle is like 55 or something like that, but it is the one oil that I feel like, um, it looks like this. There we go, and there we go. It's the one oil that I feel like actually sinks into the skin. Okay, so I'm just going to drop this in here. It's the one oil that actually sinks into the skin instead of just laying on top. And Everyone asks me like, how does your client's skin look so beautiful and hydrated and all this stuff because I do use a lot of um, heavier makeup and then powders on top of that. And this way it like sinks in with the makeup and comes through throughout the day and it hydrates it. So instead of looking oily, you look just really nice and hydrated and the makeup lasts forever. It is, it, when I've done makeup without it, it just, it's pretty but it just doesn't come out as lustrous if that's a word <laughs> but I put it on the lips under eyes everywhere you could put it on your tattoos you could put it wherever you want around your cuticles like I am obsessed I go through bottles of it I always have a back stock about 10 bottles like legitimately if you see every post on Instagram with my product breakdown there's always for skin prep Velvet 59 24 karat chocolate dream oil all day. So I'm going to carve out my brows. 
with that i will be using the infallible um concealer okay this is in shade cashmere so i'm gonna be carving out my brows and i always like to drop the product down a little bit and then start working my way up And I just buff it out. The coverage on it, the consistency so far, I'm really loving it. And it blends out really nicely, which I like. Um, you know when you ever use a concealer or a foundation where it's like a little bit too runny and then like when you start carving, it kind of bleeds outwards. Like that drives me crazy. This does not do that. It stays in place blending out really nice so that is a plus 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 for me I'm gonna take it above as well so now that I have carved out my brows now I'm going to actually do my eyeshadow first the reason being I am going to do a smoky heavy smoky eye with glitter that way if anything falls out onto my face I can just wipe it away afterwards because glitter you guys know can get messy and I love glitter you know <laughs> okay so for my eyeshadow base I'm gonna go ahead in with the L'Oreal concealer and I'm gonna put that on my lid just to cover up any darkness and redness that I've got going on. And it's going to act as my base as well. And I'm just going to buff this everywhere. I am gonna go in with the BH Cosmetics Santa Fe palette because I like the warmth that's in here. So this is what the palette looks like. And I like to have my base, when any time that I'm doing a smoky eye, especially with blacks, I like to have a really nice warm base. So I'm really liking this shade here. And I'm liking oh, this shade right here. And this one to really put down as my base and really warm up the under pigment of my eye. So the first shade I'm diving into is shade Plaza in the Santa Fe palette. And I'm just going to stamp all of this in just to deposit all of the pigment. And I do have a hooded eye, so like you can see like when I go like this, it like folds over, so I'm blowing up all of the color towards my brow. And I'm not gonna follow my own natural crease. Once I have deposited the color, this is where I'm gonna start buffing my way up. There we go. Nice and warm. So you guys can see already just from this color right here how rich and pigmented it is. You can see there's not a lot of fallout, which I really love. I look at that when I'm looking for a good eyeshadow is how much fallout am I really getting and how much pigment am I really getting. This is phenomenal. So for it to be in a, a very affordable brand and then at the same time you still get that heavy, heavy pigment payoff, that pro pigment payoff. So for my next shade, I'm going to go in with this shade right here, Casita, just to add a little bit more depth to my eye. And it just adds the tiniest bit, but it's okay because I am going to go in with black. So for black, I like to use a cream base just so that it really grabs onto the eye and makes it the blackest black possible. Um, I am going to go in with the new Buxom Call Me Pencil. This is um, called Call Me, but it's black. <laughs> and I'm just going to fill in on my eyelid as my base and then I'll buff it out. So I'm just going to fill this in. You can use any type of cream black. You can use the um, Inglot cream, um, cream liner or you can use a dip brow, anything dark. But we are going with affordable products 
Buxom Cosmetics is affordable. Inkblot is a little bit more expensive. But this will still do the trick. I take a, a little like flat brush here and I'm going to buff this out just so that there's no hard edges. I am really pleasantly surprised at this. So this pencil is legit. I'm definitely noticing you need to work really fast with it. It is extremely matte and once it's matting down, it does not want to move. So I'm applying a good amount of pressure um, to this. So that is a steal right there. Really start on the edges first just so those don't have time to map down really good so that you can actually blend them out okay so I went ahead and did one eye off camera because my camera kept overheating so we're gonna move on so I can show you how I got this and what products that I use okay here we go, diving right back in with the Take Me To Abiza. This is also by BH Cosmetics. I am going to use their black shade that's in here to place all over my eye. The first thing I am doing is taking my flat brush. So I'm just packing this all over that cream pencil I put down from Buxom Cosmetics. I am gonna set it with this black eyeshadow. like this and then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and dip into the same black and I'm going to start buffing out those edges so you can see I'm going to start diffusing so you can see this kind of looks just like it the bottle except for I believe Stila is like 25 to 30 dollars this is Cara Beauty this is their Galaxy Bombs and they're six dollars just as much payoff um, you can see I mean that's insane this is in this color is called illusion okay it's silver they have so many different colors um, but I chose this one today as you can see like my top I wanted to go with that vibe extreme glitz for New Year's so um, that's what I chose and yep this is what it looks like so um, the smell of it is a little bit, um, I guess like a, like a sweet paint scent, I guess you could say. I think that's right. And I'm dipping into the bottle. I'm going to stamp this on because I don't want like, just like to paint it on. So I'm gonna go like this. You can see how much payoff it already gives. <laughs> Damn! Okay, so you guys, you can see now that you don't need to spend a crap load of money all the time to get like the best absolute products. Sometimes the best absolute products aren't affordable. Um, so $6.99 and this is what you get. Whoa. You guys, you know where I first discovered these? I have discovered them in downtown LA, literally in the Santee Alley. Um, that's where I first got introduced. Is I'm just taking a makeup wipe and I'm just wiping away what's underneath my eye. And I was shook because they had testers. So I was able to play around with them before I actually purchased them. And you know, like I said, I am aware of Stila. I do have the Stila products but this was at a fraction of the price i posted i didn't know what their social media handle was and then i found them and then i ordered a crap load more of them um and now i have every color unless they came out with new ones so um yeah they're amazing you guys go get them seriously um and they don't just have glitter they have shimmers everything so yeah um, i'm gonna go back in with the buxom pencil and I'm going to smoke out my bottom lash line. And then buff that out. Now I'm going to go back in again with the black that's inside the Ibiza palette. Okay, so 
So once I have the black on, I'm gonna go back into the Santa Fe palette and use that secondary color that I used as my base um, to warm up right up underneath it. Right underneath it, not too much, just enough. Going in with the Galaxy Bomb from Cara Beauty. It's Cara Beauty with a K, K-A-R-A. <laughs> and they dry down really quickly, I am going to drop some lashes down. So the lashes that I'll be using is J-Lash. If you guys don't know what J-Lash is, you guys have seen it probably in my previous videos and on Instagram if you do follow me and like pay attention to what I'm using. I love J-Lash. They are absolutely affordable. Um, these are, oh, these are their newer ones, okay? So these ones are, I believe they're faux mink. Really nice and full, as you can see. They are affordable. They have like a trio pack where they have three lashes. I believe they're $6.99 or $12.99 for a pack of three. Getting from as low as $2.99 up to, I believe, $9.99. Um, so extremely affordable. I will be using their lash glue as well, which is really good. It is latex free as well, which is the only type of glue that I use is latex free because a lot of people have the latex allergy. So um, I'm gonna be going in with this second pair. As you can see, I already have it on, but that they're definitely an amazing lash brand that's affordable and good quality. You get your nice fullness if you're like a dramatic kind of girl or you like to be super, super, super natural. They're good and affordable. I've never used this before. This is my first time, and I do love it. The Blackest Black Buxom Cosmetics Mascara, which is super affordable. So you guys, check them out. Um, the only thing that I don't like about this one is I don't care for the wand. Um, it's kind of, like, stiff. Um, and I definitely wish that the wand was smaller. I like the smaller ones because you can really, like, get up in there. And sometimes when they're too big, it's kind of like, eh. But this is just, you know, for myself. Uh, when I am doing it on clients, I have the spoolie, uh, the disposable mascara wands, which are tinier. So it's like you dip that in and yeah. Okay, dropping on the lash, I just take this with my, my tweezers and I place it right. Now I'm gonna jump in to the face. Okay, you guys, I am honestly a little nervous because, like I said, I couldn't swatch it. So I really hope this is my color. We are going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Cream Foundation Sticks. These are the colors that I got. I mean, maybe. This is definitely contour shade. It does say that it has SPF in it, you guys. Here we go. Wow, okay. That looks like my color. I'm actually shook. Like legitimately, I'm shook because it is really, really affordable, and the consistency of this, like, I'm pretty picky when it comes to foundation, and especially cream foundation, uh, because, you know, like I said, I, I work on clients, like, it needs to be some really, really good stuff, um, and I work on some pretty big people, so it can't, like, like, move, um, and it can't be too dry, and it can't be too wet it's got to be like the perfect consistency and this just glided on and fit my skin like a freaking glove I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender um, I always have the black ones just because I'm an all-black kind of girl I love black so um, that's why I always have the black ones I'm just gonna bounce this um, it's damp uh, but not too wet just so that I get rid of any like brush strokes that might have gotten in there. 
Okay, so now that I've put the foundation shade down, I'm gonna go in with my contour stick first before I go in with my concealer, just because I like a more contoured, bronzy face. This is like pretty much exactly my skin tone, um, but I like a little bit more warmth and depth. So I'm just going to, since these are like really pigmented, I'm not gonna add too much. I'm just gonna add a little. start look at that oh my god Ooh. I just took some of the contour shade on a brush and I'm going to go on the sides of my nose. Time for concealer. Okay, so now that I have my foundation and my contour shade, I'm gonna go in with the uh, concealer. Again, this is the Infallible and this is in shade Cashmere. By the feel of it, I'm really liking it. It's not, um, it's not like super wet, wet. It's more like, honestly, like it's um, like going to be matte. So I'm gonna go in. I'm liking the way that it's blending. This is something you definitely need to move fast with. I could say that. It's matting down as I'm blending it. Wow. I am so shook. Like this is with no powder. Okay, no powder at all. Just using the L'Oreal Cream Foundation Sticks, the Infallible, and their concealer. The concealer says full wear more than concealer. So possibly, like I saw the shade range in this. You could probably use this for full face foundation, to be real. I like the amount of product that you get in here. It is um, 0.33 ounces, but that's like, a big bottle like this is the size um, kind of like the tape shape I would say it's about the same size as that um, and then of course the cream foundation sticks like I'm shook on these and for the price point is insane so honestly I'm probably gonna go buy every color to add to my kit because the fact that it looks like this without powder <laughs> okay L'Oreal now to set the face i am a holy grail kind of person when it comes to setting powder that's the one thing that is like eh. but i am going to try something different today because it is an affordable makeup brand type of day um the only one that i'm not going to do um is the under eye setting which will be the laura mercier translucent setting powder it's, it's it's affordable but it's not on the cheaper end but it's also not expensive so it's like kind of in between um so i'm going to use that up underneath my eyes and in my t-zone for that and then this one the J cat okay it looks very much like the Ben I I am a Ben I holy grail user um so this is banana it looks very much like it so I'm gonna try this out and this is only like three dollars I think um, at my makeup kit in Ranch Cucamonga um, I, I bought all of the shades there's only four but you know we're gonna test it out for my full face and for my T-zone will be the Laura Mercier Translucent. Um, so let's do it. Okay, so first going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder underneath my eye, I put it on the tip of my Beauty Blender. I really forgot what the name of it was. Um, so going underneath my eye, I am just pressing this in. So 
So just really press that powder in. And I'm using the Laura Mercier in all of my lighter areas. So anywhere where I place my concealer to brighten and um, conceal, that is where I'm place placing, that is where I'm placing the lighter powder. I'm gonna go in with the J Cat Banana. So this looks like it's comparable to Benai Banana. Benai is holy grail all day, you guys. If you have not tried Benai, you're missing out like it's amazing. It is expensive though. So, um, moving on to this one, uh, banana for the rest of my face. I put it on a fluffy brush like this one. So just a big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to pat that in. Okay. So, uh, looks so good. Seriously. So good. I'm going to take my makeup white. Um, Remove all this off of my lips. Can we take a moment and just look at my nails? You guys, like, you see this? You see the snowman and the reindeer? Like, my nail artist is in Corona T at Azura Nails. Kills it every single freaking time. Keep my hands looking pretty. Okay, I'm just going to. Warm up my face a little bit. Add that in with some powder. A fluffy brush. Okay, just a blending brush. And dip into that and do my nose. Just a tiny bit. But really right in here where the arch meets my brow, I like to connect the bronzer. I am not a blush girl, but I'm just doing it for this video to show the different versatilities of affordable products. So Buxom Cosmetics Primer Infused Blush. That's what it is. This is in the shade Mykonos. Um, so that's what I'm going to be using on my cheeks. Go like that. once actually just just once in there because this is my first time using on myself in here damn like that's a lot of pigment that comes off of that I like the way that it feels um the color is definitely there uh so you know dip once unless you're a serious blush person then you can like go in Super excited going into 2020 to announce that I am coming out with a collab with a makeup brand that I have been using for quite some time now that's out in Canada called Desiderio Beauty. You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I am obsessed with Desiderio Beauty. Her glows, I have never really <laughs> like had a brand that I'm obsessed with their glow like that. Not just their glow, but the lip pencils, the liquid lips the eyeshadow palette like literally everything from this brand is just phenomenal so you guys definitely should go check them out um we've been working on this for an entire year and it is launching in 2020 so i'm going to give like a little bit of a sneak peek this right here is the glow that's in my collection coming out with her i can't name the name of the collection yet but you will know very soon so this is the sample packaging, okay, in the shade of the highlighter that is going to be in the collection along with me. And I am so excited. I've been putting it on all my clients. They're obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with it. I've made sure that this shade that I looked so freaking hard for goes good on every single freaking skin tone, whether you're extremely pale, you are tan, you are warm, you are cool, you are dark skin, you are chocolate, you are beautiful, you are black, green, purple, orange, doesn't matter what shade of skin you are, this looks phenomenal on everyone. I've tried it on multiple skin tones. So this is going to be in my collection and y'all ready? Look at that. I mean, seriously. And what I love about it is like, you can put as much as you want. You can keep building up and it just melts into the skin. I like to put some on my temples too.
just like that. See that little glitz you get? There you go. It's like the perfect freaking shade, okay? I needed it to, I needed this to happen, okay? For it to like be epic for everybody, okay? So this will be out in 2020, which if you guys keep following me here and on Instagram where we will be um, announcing the launch. And of course we are going to have a launch party, which I'm really, really excited about. So yeah, I'm gonna pop this on my inner corner of my eye as well. Moving on to the lips. And you can do a nude lip, obviously, because you've got so much going on on the eyes. But I'm not your basic kind of girl. And it's New Year's, so why not go all out? I am going to do a deeper lip. And with that being said, I'm going to use the Italia Deluxe. Okay, if you guys have never used these ones, it's like you get a dozen for $6. You can go to downtown LA, Amy's and Men Eyes. Um, but either way, you get a dozen of these for $6, and they're super pigmented. This is in the shade Deep Purple, and then I'm going to go in with Pinky Rose Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Vampira. Um, I want it to be dark and fun because it's freaking New Year's, okay? Now going in with Pinky Rose Cosmetics Vampira, you guys also, if you have not used Pinky Rose Cosmetics liquid lipsticks or in their, their products in general are pro quality with consumer price, meaning it's very affordable, but you still get your pro high pigment, long lasting everything. So <laughs> Pinky Rose all day. So that is a shade that I am going to be using. and. It smells like, um, I don't know what to call that. It doesn't smell like paint. It smells yummy. Ooh. Look at them. That is, <laughs> you guys, I'm really, really, really obsessed like legitimately obsessed you guys need to check them out um and there you have it you guys <laughs> doing a full new year's eve glitz glam makeup look with all affordable products this is like I am legitimately like shook because one, it being first impression of never using the L'Oreal Cream Foundation sticks before or the concealers. I mean, this is insane. Or the J-Cat um, setting powder. Like I hadn't used that either. Um, the Cara Beauty I've used and I'm already knowing like the glitter is just like outrageous. BH Cosmetics I've used before, you know, um, Pinky Rose Cosmetics I've used before. And then of course the brand Desiderio Beauty of the Glow that I'm coming out with. But like all of it is super, super, super affordable um, with high performance in pigmentation, no fallout, um, everything. Like the lashes, having that full like mink, mink feel and it being fox make and still affordable and not like some 30 pair of lashes like this i am so happy and one with the outcome of it but that you guys got to see this and you get to see that it is affordable and attainable and you still get amazing look like you've freaking paid two g's to get your makeup done but really it's like you got this product and it's just like Phenomenal and this is with no setting spray no setting spray. I did not use any because um, Because I am liking the way that my face looks and I just don't care to put setting spray on today Like I have my days, but like are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I am just as shook as you okay so shit. So I hope that you guys got as much out of this video as I did myself um, as a professional for my kit. Um, there is definitely some of these products that I am going to add to my kit because mm, those foundation sticks. Yeah, it's happening. It's getting added. Um, 
but I really like this. It's glittery, it's fun, it's dark, it's sexy, it's sultry, and it's perfect for New Year's Eve. And then like, you know, if you want to straighten your hair, wear it curly, pop in some extensions, a ponytail, like whatever the case may be, and then put on your outfit, you are ready to freaking go. Okay, so I hope that you guys all have an amazing New Year's Eve and bring in this new year with so much fun, love, and joy, and ready to take on 2020. And I'm really happy that we got to end it off on a super sparkly, fun looking makeup look that's super affordable. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing because I've hit 400 subscribers. I'm excited. I'm super, super excited for this whole journey together. And in the year of 2020, you guys, I am planning on dropping a video twice a week. I don't know exact days yet. Um, I don't even know if there will be exact days, but for short, sure, two videos a week because that is what I am dedicating myself to. So you guys are going to be seeing so much more of me along with different makeup looks, not just on myself, but also collaborating with other influencers and then also bringing models in and doing makeup looks on them. So I'm really, really excited for you guys to be on this journey with me and to see everything that 2020 has to bring. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up on this video. Share it if you like it, if you love it. Um, also, definitely click the bell button so that you know every time that I post a brand new video and that you get to stay updated with me and just go on this crazy journey called life together with me. So I love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I love you. Happy New Year! Ah! What do you